Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn about the second subtopic in Introductions to Organic Chemistry called Functional Groups and Homologous Series. Functional groups refer to specific atoms bonded in a certain arrangement that give a compound certain physical and chemical properties. There are 14 functional groups that we're going to learn and we'll look at each one of them together. Let's start with class of compound that contain carbon and hydrogen only. As for alkene, since it has only single bonds, it has no functional group. Alkene has functional group of carbon-carbon double bond, while alkyne has functional group of carbon-carbon triple bond. Another class of compound that contain carbon and hydrogen only is aromatic compound. It has functional group of aromatic ring. We will learn about this more thoroughly in Chapter 6, Benzene and its derivatives. Next, we have hydroatoms from Group 17, either fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine, attached to the hydrocarbon. The class of compound is known as haloalkene due to the functional group of halogen attached to alkene with only single bond. Then we have hydroxyl group, where OH group attached to the hydrocarbon. If it involves open chain structure like this, then the compound is known as alcohol. If it is attached to aromatic ring, then the compound is called phenol. As for ether, the functional group can be identified in a molecule when there is oxygen is in between two carbons. In other words, COC. They are called alkoxy, combinations of alkene, which represent the carbon chain, and hydroxyl group, which characterize this oxygen. Both aldehyde and ketone share the same functional group of carbonyl. Carbonyl structure is basically carbon double one O. But what makes aldehyde different from ketone? The aldehyde must have at least one hydrogen attached to the carbonyl group. This makes this group can only present at both ends of a molecule. Meanwhile, ketone do not need this hydrogen. So, this carbonyl group in ketone can only be located in between two carbons, means this group can only be located somewhere in the middle of a chain. Carboxylic acid has functional group of COOH, known as carboxyl group. This carboxyl name comes from the combinations of both carbonyl and hydroxyl group. As this functional group is a bit similar to carboxylic acid, but it combines carbonyl and alkoxy group instead. Hence, the name of its functional group is carboalkoxy. Then, a bit complicated structure where you could see two carbonyl groups and one alkoxy group combines forming anhydride compound. The name of its functional group is anhydride as well. Molecules with kind of similar reactivity from carboxylic acid is known as acid chloride. Instead of having OH, it has chlorine directly attached to the carbonyl group. Moving to the functional group that contains nitrogen, we have amide compound where it has nitrogen directly attached to the carbonyl group. So the functional group is called carboxamide. And then we have amine compound. This amine compound has amino group, which is basically just NH2 attached to the carbon chain like this. So you will be learning about this compound more thoroughly in chapter 11, amine and its derivatives. And lastly, nitrile compound, where it got cyano group, represented by this carbon triple bond nitrogen. The term homologous series indicates a series having similarities. So the term homo here means compound having something in common, which in this case the functional group, whereas the series here referring to an event that happened in sequence. For a compound having the same homologous series, each member differs from next member by a constant CH2 unit. Each of the members are then called as homologs. Shown on the slide a number of homologous series and their general formula. The general formula of each series is different from one another due to different functional group present. The homologs which comes from the same series may have similar chemical properties due to functional group present is the same. But then, due to extra methylene, the CH2 group which makes up the series, there will be a slight change in terms of their physical properties. There are some cases where their classes of compound are the same. Let's say we have alkene and cycloalkene, but then their homologous series are different. We will look at those examples after this. Alkene form a series with a general formula of CnH2n plus 2. Starting from methane, 
with one carbon and four hydrogens. By adding CH2 to it, it will become C2H6, known as ethane, the homologs of this series. If we add another CH2, it will give propane of C3H8. And the list goes on for butane and pentane. Since alkene is the backbone of any organic compound, so if there is a case where it wants to be a substituent, the series will no longer be the same as in alkene because the general formula will change. To become a substituent, one of the hydrogen in here must be reduced so that it can reserve one bond to the carbon backbone. So, alkene as a substituent is known as alkyl group with one less hydrogen from alkene in its general formula. Hence, methane will become the methyl, ethane will become the ethyl, propane will become the propyl. The linguist cyclic compound will require two hydrogen atoms to be reduced from its chain structure with the same number of carbon. Even though alkene and cycloalkene got only single bond in them, but their homologous series are different. We could see from the structural formula listed here. The propane with three carbon has eight hydrogens surrounds it. While for cyclopropane, also got three carbon, but due to cyclic structure, each carbon now can only have two hydrogen maximums. So we are left with only six hydrogen surrounds this cyclopropane. That's why two hydrogen is reduced from this general formula of cycloalkane as compared to alkane. There are cases where different class of compound can be same or different functional group has the same general formula. Don't be mistaken with compounds having same general formula means they have same homologous series. For example, we have aldehyde and ketone. Even though the general formula is the same, but since they are different class of compound means their homologous series are still different. That's all for subtopic 4.2, functional groups and homologous series. Thank you.